to a remote Linux server from my Visual Studio code. In my earlier demo, I have shown you how you can connect the local WSL from your Visual Studio code, but this time I'm gonna connect the remote Linux machine which is not in the same box I'm running at. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna first check whether I have any live machine let's say in Azure so to do that I'll say Azure VM name and the VM name is Ubuntu 18 group is VM and then I'll say show and probably I'll say detail and then say TSV which will give me a little bit concise information about the VM if it is running um, in uh, Azure account I am logged in so let's give the right name and if the VM is kind of available and running it will show me the the details of the VM and then it will also tell me that hey this is kind of the I public IP addresses through which I can do a SSH and give my username and provide the IP address and the SSH will ask me to enter the password I am inside the VM so this VM is working for me let me see there is nothing in that um, folder so what I can do I can go over here and then probably I can just connect the command palette and select something called remote dash ssh and then connect to host in the moment i connect to host it asks me to add a new ssh host which means that then i can pass on the ssh command and then say enter and this will ask me where do i save the data so let me put it in the config file and you will see that it looks like something this in the config so we are fine then I click again on the host and I say remote SSH connect to host select this host and this opens another Visual Studio code window and you can see at the bottom it shows trying to connect right and it is asking you to enter the password even the command palette is also prompting me for the same so I enter the password and then uh, if it is successfully entered you can see the, the terminal really shows what exactly is happening at my remote machine and then it's gonna go ahead and install a few components over there which will help me connect to this Visual Studio so it's asking me again so let me enter again and this should once this is done you can see at the bottom of your visual studio code this will uh, show you the name of the machine and uh, the status will clearly indicate that you are connected so we'll wait for this connection to happen and then once this is done it will probably try a couple of times if the internet connection is not stable but be patient once this is done uh, this will show up in your um, window so let me try providing the password again you can see that Visual Studio is basically trying to install a component over there to get things working 
so you don't have to do anything you can see that ssh is established right and then if i click over here and then say remote ssh um, and then probably um, show the log you'll be able to see what exactly has happened over here uh, while it tried to do that you can click on open folder and then this open folder will basically try to open the folder location in the remote machine so we'll just see here okay you can see that i want to open now the home directory under which i am working on so i just clicked okay what this will do now visual studio code will load pointing to the remote machine which is right now in azure it could be anywhere so let me just go to let's say vs code server and then say okay you can just go here and see your visual studio now showing you the folder containing all the details so me also enter here so one of the best practices that's why to use the the ssh keys rather than the password because then you don't have to really enter it again and again if you have it in your folder so you can see that it is now showing up i can create a folder i can create a file literally and then can start working directly from my visual studio with this i want to thank and end the demo